The politics lead. So here's a question for you. Where did Jeb Bush take his sex ed class? Speaking to a group of religious conservatives this morning, the former Florida governor, Jeb Bush, made a comment about immigrants that left the crowd up a little squeamish. Listen. Immigrants create far more businesses than native-born Americans over the last 20 years. Immigrants are more fertile, and they love families, and they're more in, they have more intact families, and they bring a younger population. All right, so uh, more fertile, huh? Let's bring in our panel to talk about this. Terry Jeffrey, columnist and editor-in-chief of CNS News, CNN contributor and Democratic strategist Maria Cardona, and Manu Raju, senior congressional reporter for Politico. Maria, I want to start with you as, as the woman here on the panel. And an uh, immigrant. And an immigrant. <laughs> when you heard Governor Jeb Bush say that, that immigrant women are more fertile. Mm -hmm. I cringed. I cringed, John. But you know what else? I'm going to give Jeb Bush a pass here because I looked at what he said in context. And in fact, his actual words are correct. If you look at Webster's Dictionary, the third definition of fertility is birth rate of a population. And that is what he meant. I actually have that right here. You know, 87.8 yeah. births per thousand for immigrants uh, in America right. compared to 58.9 births per 1,000 for women, uh, you know, born in the United it, it, States. Exactly. And so what he said was actually correct. And the context was he was talking about the benefits of, of comprehensive immigration reform. He's in the right place on that for the Latino community, for immigrants, for Americans. He was talking about the benefits of what immigrants have done and what they will continue to do for the economic vitality of this country. He just should not have used those words. Terry Monty, there's <laughs> nothing more comfortable to discuss for men than fertility. So I'm thrilled that we get to bring this up right now. But, but Terry, is this, does this stick? Is this one day and then done? Actually, I think uh, George Jeb Bush said a good thing here. Leaving aside the issue of, of what you do with illegal immigration, I think he's wrong on that. Not only is he right on the demographic facts, as she pointed out, but he's also right on a basic underlying economic point. More babies, more people are good. The CBO earlier this year, when they were estimating future potential economic growth in the United States, they said it's lower than it used to be because the baby boom generation is retiring, fewer young people are coming into the workforce. If you look at the history of the human race, there's a lot more human beings now than there were 2,000 years ago. People are better off materially now than they were 2,000 years across the globe because on net, people create wealth. May all be true, but doesn't the word creep you out a little bit, Manu, when he said it? <laughs> well, you know, I think for Jeb Bush, the, the thing is that he's kind of had a clumsy rollout uh, ever since he's gone back into the public domain. I mean, remember, he came out with his uh, immigration book earlier this year, and a, his position on that issue uh, seemed to be backtracking from his support for a comprehensive immigration overhaul later. So I think what this does, it may raise questions on whether or not he's ready for the prime time and whether or not he will be able to make comments that could prove to be game-changing gaffes should he decide to run it. You're talking about the rollout, of course, and that would be for 2016, which is a really exciting topic for people who are into <laughs> politics, which of course we all are. So we let's talk, talk about, about 2016. <laughs> Chris Christie, he's out in Chicago at the Clinton Global Initiative. Last time I checked, we checked the research here, Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Democrats, Chris Christie, Republican, What's he doing to the Clinton Global well, Initiative? Well, look, if, you, if you're talking about political positioning, if you look at recent history, leaving aside Mitt Romney, who, of course, is from Massachusetts, the Republican Party tends to nominate for president people from, from Texas, one. from He's Kansas, from California, one. from Texas, uh, from Michigan in the case of Jerry Ford. It's very difficult for a Northeastern Republican to be nominated by the Republican Party whose base is conservative. I don't think Chris Christie can do it. I think he's more like Giuliani than Mitt Romney. And everybody remembers Mitt Romney did like a 180 degree turn on a lot of issues before he ran for president. Manu, if you're the other contenders right now, most of whom are at the Faith and Freedom Coalition, and you see Chris Christie in Chicago, what are you thinking? Well, they're probably thinking what happened, remember, right before the run-up to the November elections, when Christie was praising President Obama for his handling of Hurricane Sandy. I mean, at that time, uh, it really gave momentum to the president, and it really took, uh, it really hurt the Romney campaign. A lot of Romney veterans and Republicans don't forget, uh, will not forgive him for that. So that kind of will probably bring back memories uh, for that really critical moment in the campaign. And Christie's going to have to deal with that should he decide to run. But let's remember, we might be focused on 2016, but what's Christie focused on? Getting reelected first. He's got to get reelected before he can even think about 2016. And being seen with Bill Clinton and, and Chelsea and Hillary is a really good thing for a, a purple slash blue state that New Jersey What's is. good for 2013 might not be good for 2016. Possibly Maria not, Cardona, but... Terry, Jeffrey, Monty, Raju, <laughs> great to see you. Great talking even Thanks, about John. fertility. I appreciate it, guys. <laughs>